What's up? William Barron here with DarkEffects.net and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate and we had a question from one of our subscribers and that is from NMTP666. You know when you use on TV below the screen the text moves from right to left and when the sentence ends it starts back over again. So that's basically what he's wanting. And this is uh, what he's referring to right here. I see how it's called a news ticker and basically what it does is that it runs your text from left to right or right to left however you got it set up and then once it finishes it reloops itself and it loops itself over and over again and uh, this is a really simple easy task uh, however I'm not going to add in all of this information like I did before I'll just add in one to show you how to do it inside of your elements and uh, because you want to have everything grouped so that it stays within the group. If it's not grouped, then it's not going to loop like it's doing here. So, okay, let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. And let's just add in a couple of rectangles. These are just basically placeholders. I just add in one going all the way across. Okay, and then we're going to add some text here, NFL. And then we're going to make our NFL larger, put it in the center. Okay. Now, come down here to the bottom, and we want to add in a rectangle going all the way across, about like so. Okay, and that right there is our rectangle, and this is our tracker. Oops. Okay, that is our tracker. And so now, inside of our tracker, we want to come in. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and save this first. So we're going to save this as um, lesson number five. And this is going to be news ticker. Okay, so inside of here, we're going to go ahead and add in an image. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, so we're going to add in a Dallas Cowboys image. I'm going to come over here and change this to, let's do 30. And then let's go find the helmet. Okay, right up here on the top, drag it down to here. And let's make it just a little bit smaller, I'll do it 25, okay. So now with our image, that's good right there. Now let's go add some text right here. It's gonna be Dallas Cowboys. Okay, and we wanna bring that way on down there, so. Okay, so that'll be for our Dallas Cowboys. Now when we come over here, we've got our tracker. We've got our Dallas Cowboys helmet, and then we've got our text right here for our Dallas. So it's going to be Dallas here. Okay, so now let's grab a hold of both of these items here. We're going to drag them on top of our tracker. Once we drag it on top of our tracker and drop it, then it will automatically add it as a sub into our tracker, and then it automatically becomes a part of our tracker. Okay, so now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and do some animation. Okay, so on the one that I've got over here, we've got uh, set for 10 seconds. So on this one right here, we're going to start, and we're gonna go over here to, we're just gonna do this at five seconds. So we're gonna come right there, and then we're gonna add um, uh, end. No, let's do loop. Okay, so right here is uh, basically it's going to run and then it's going to uh, jump from the loop back over to our start. Especially it's going to keep on doing that over and over. So let's go right here, click, and then we want to take this, move it over here to the side, and we're not worried about the top. Drag it all the way to our loop. And then we want to move it all the way over to here. And once again, get rid of our top. And then basically, it's going to look like this. Okay, now come back over here to our loop, click on our insert trigger, play from, and we're going to play from start. S-T-A-R-T, -T. click OK, Control-Enter to run it, and then 
and once it gets finished to the end it should replay it again and there you go and it will continue to play this over and over again now depending on uh, how you want it done uh, will depend on your length so let's say that you want to slow it down and bring it all the way out there grab a hold of it drag it to here drag your trigger and your label over to there and then run it and then it will run it a lot slower so that you can actually add in more information here and you can have this as long as you want so the longer that you make it the uh, more time that you want to go by and so uh, like the first one that I did it's uh, 10 seconds because it has more information on it so we've got all these football teams that's loading up and so we've got more information therefore we have it lasting longer so we've got it lasting for 10 seconds so uh, but anyway um, I hope this is what our asker asked for and uh, so if y'all have any questions or if there's something that y'all would like to learn how to do please uh, pop me a question and uh, post it below in the comments or send it to me as a private message either way uh, I will uh, see if I can assist y'all on making it come true. All right, Wayne Barron here with darkfakes.net. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.